It's time for Coffee Talk, and we do kick it off with a check of the date. Thursday, September 19th. 19th? Yes. Oh, I guess it is. <laughs> That's right, yesterday was the 18th, so the day we would be in the 19th. 19th. It would be breaking news if we went from the 18th to the 21st. That'd be True. crazy. Right. And since we are in the middle to end of this month, how's your motivation right now? Mine? Yeah. Could be better. And I have a feeling everyone at home is thinking the same thing because over half of American workers feel unmotivated after September ends. I'm sorry, after summer ends. Now, the Huffington Post has dubbed it the September slump, and it kind of hits everything. According to NPR, September has been, on average, the worst month for the stock market going back more than a century. People are less likely to work out in the autumn months. And then seasonal affective disorder, which is called SAD, which is sad enough, right. impacts a really big part of the population when depression-like symptoms set in thanks to lack of sunlight in the colder months. Can't you add in the fact that kids have been back in school for about a month, mm -hmm. their activities are in full swing, mm -hmm. you have so many to-do lists before the holidays. Yep. So, do you try to find more motivation at this time of year? No, I'm not motivated to try to find more motivation. <sighs> no, I don't know. I, I could see all of those things make sense to me. The, the, the seasonal disorder, I wouldn't think would kick in until a little later when, mm -hmm. when the time change and everything else. But um, it's a real thing, you know, and uh, end of summer is sad to me. I don't like to see summer go. I do like the fall, but it, it just leads us into winter, you know. It's kind of like the, we've talked about this before, it's kind of like the Sunday syndrome. A lot Sunday of people scaries. have a hard time staying unwound on Sunday because they're no, they're going back to work Monday. They're already thinking about that stuff, especially when you work the morning shift. That it's impossible. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's just that time of year. Yeah. That's all. Do what you over. can to find motivation by watching Great Day. There you go, or another cup of coffee, or, or both. Yes. Having a routine that is one way to stay motivated, even in the darker months. But do you even have a routine? If so. What exactly does that routine look like? For some, it's maybe just enjoying a cup of coffee at the same time every morning. That's okay. While we've always had the perception that a routine should be elaborate, an article in popsugar.com is shining a light on simple routines and we are all about it. The gist of the article is to show that routines matter no matter what they look like. Some people might have a more structured routine, while others might just have a simple routine that includes a cup of coffee. But what matters most is finding a routine that works for you. But do you know that those routines will get, you need to know that those routines get screwed up at times, and they give you something to get back to. So do you have a specific routine? I absolutely do. I do too. Every but single morning. But I don't put morning. my clothes out at night like you do. I'm oh, not, I'm not crazy. I can I don't even. I don't only put my clothes out at night. I put the them out kids, for the, the entire kids I could week. See. The kids for the entire, for the entire, week. The entire week. week. Yes. Okay. Well, a lot of. I think a lot of moms do that. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. At least stacking them in some order somewhere where you're normally changing them, so you can kind of get ahead of that, mm -hmm. and you don't have to fight that 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 one every morning. But Routines are really important when you're on something like this morning shift, which I worked this morning. For years, I did that shift. And I think you have to have a routine. It, it, and, and it's kind of a cross between routine and discipline in order to, you know, there was, I had to eat at a certain time of day or I'm going to bed with a full stomach. I had to go to bed at a certain time so that I could get up on time. Um, yeah, and you have to be careful not to nap because if you nap, you get into that vicious cycle, you can't get to sleep at night. So routines and discipline, I think, are important to a lot of people. And that brings us to our Facebook question. What is one thing that is part of your routine every single day? We hope it's this show. I was going to say bonus points that we don't keep track of. <laughs> if you do say watching Great Day St. Louis, head on over to our Facebook page, share your answers with us. All right.